unexplained phenomena occurred at Grayswood Farm. On the night of August 7th, the Sherman family witnessed bright lights in the sky that moved at breakneck speeds over the cornfield. The lights moved in a random direction and at different speeds. After a while, they vanished. This strange behavior in the sky was observed at the same time each night for five nights. According to the owner of the farm, all the animals went crazy. The dog became aggressive, tried to attack him, and bit him. The children complained that someone was walking under their windows. Farmer Peter Sherman himself in the field saw a strange figure that did not look like a man. What is it? Deliberate deception, drawing attention to oneself, or a sensation about an alien invasion. Journalist Taylor Fox travels to Grayswood Farm to take a photo and make report for the local newspaper. Hey y'all, welcome to Knack Games. Today we are playing They Are Here. We played the prologue to this and it absolutely terrified me. Oh! <laughs> so oh, now we're gonna check out the demo of the game that's still yet to come out, but this is the demo of the game. That was the prologue, this is the demo. Let's get into it. Ooh. Oh, we're here. Talk to Farmer Peter Sherman. Okay. Oh, oh, it's pretty. Oh, are those the lights? I'm guessing those are the lights. Okay, wasn't expecting them to just be in the sky already. Oh, <laughs> yes, we <laughs> we observed those. Oh, I need to take a photo. Gotcha. Okay. I'm gonna guess this isn't current time. <laughs> We're running with Polaroids for the newspaper. Sherman's house is this way. Okay. Oh, boy. Cornfields. Those are always creepy. The textures are nice. Uh, I'm sorry, what? Are we spooking already? Are we already spooking? <laughs> we are already spooking? Mm. Inspect the house. Farmer's note. Mr. Fox, we made an appointment, but something bad happened. Our daughter went missing. My wife went to town for help. My son and I went to check out the farm. We'll leave notes for you and the police in case we pass each other. Be careful, Peter Sherman. Okay. I can just... Shouldn't I, like, wait till they're back? I'm just going to inspect their house while they're not here. Uh... <laughs> Not working. Great. Super. Okay. Your doors are locked inside the house. That's never a good sign. Is this y'all? Why do you look like such a happy family? In the photo, member of the Sherman's family. Okay. Oh, uh, they saw the... Not the Grand Canyon. I'm not sure what that is. Okay. Got a cute whale magnet. You got any beer in the fridge? <laughs> I could go for a beer. You left your milk out. That should be in the fridge. Can I put this in the fridge for him? No. Old newspaper. This old newspaper has information about UFOs and crop circles. These phenomena have been seen throughout the state for a long time. Why I never knew about this? I don't know. Couldn't tell you. Pretty standard old farmhouse, I guess. Doesn't seem too spooky yet. Uh, oh, look at the cute puppy. Oh, this one's not locked. Oh, it's a kid's room. This is really creepy that I'm just... Hey, that's not good. That's probably a bad sign. Y'all should... Close that. Do you... <laughs> hmm. Oh, good. It looks like this drawing was made by the missing daughter of the farmer. The paper is painted on both sides. Oh. She was happy to see them at first, and then she wasn't- Oh no, the dog! Not the dog! Come on! This is my daughter's room. During the night, I heard a strange noise. When I came in, she wasn't in her bed, and the window was wide open. I'm sure she was abducted by those things. Well, that's a problem. Okay. That's a real big problem. Walkie-talkie. Apparently it belonged to the missing girl. If you listen closely, you can hear very strange sounds. Yeah, I hear some clicking. Some clicking and clacking. That is kind of strange. 
Okay. Well, so far, this is really, really creepy. <laughs> oh, it's, uh, you guys got a, you guys got a home computer? I'm using Polaroids for the newspaper, and y'all got a home computer? I've learned a lot about those things. They are called the Greys. These are not little green men, but big, creepy, and dangerous creatures. Basically, they can be described in the following way. A large head, disproportionate to the body, no hair. Bottomless black eyes, gray skin, long, thin limbs. Their voices are like nothing else. These aliens are very aggressive towards people. It all starts with bright lights in the sky near home, which move along a certain way. Then, people start to have a nosebleed, have severe headaches and a buzz in their ears, and animals start raging. Next, people start to have memory lapses. When they come back to normal, they find themselves in unexpected places. For example, in the middle of a field, or on a road, a few kilometers away from home. Did he say kilometers? I'm probably not using the right accent. <laughs> he said kilometers. We're just gonna roll with it. Some of them have flashbacks of terrible memories. People remember terrifying experiences. The aliens establish control over their minds and this has affected their psyche. Also, they found the marks on the body, incisions to be exact. During palpitation, it felt like something thick, like a foreign object moving under the skin. Uh, that's bad. That's that's not good. Oh, that's a bad sign. That means we have to hide. <laughs> I don't like that. Anything creepy going on down there? Okay. Photo from the internet. Perhaps Peter Sherman saw something similar. It looks creepy. That it does. Okay. Okay. Found my old diary from when I was 15 years old. How could I forget that? Today was the most exciting, scariest day of my life. I saw the aliens. My parents think I'm lying, but it's true. I was fishing from an abandoned pier on the river. Suddenly, I was deafened by a roar coming from behind. I turned around very low above the ground. A huge disc with flashing lights or windows was hovering. I felt the punch that seemed to throw me into the air. I froze there in zero gravity. Everything around me became blindingly bright, and I seemed to lose consciousness. This doesn't seem like something that you'd forget. I remember seeing three aliens with gray skin and big eyes. I was placed on the table as if I was welded to it. They were standing over me. It seemed to me they would communicate with each other telepathically. Then one of them came over and did something to my head. I don't remember anything else. I woke up on the pier later in the evening and barely made it home. My head was buzzing and I walked home as if in a delirium. When I got there, I found several cuts on my body and two small, very smooth holes behind my ears. What was that? I'm scared to sleep. Makes sense. Oh, take a photo of the diary. You got it. For sure. This is great material for news report. Yeah, nothing like publishing someone's personal diary in the news. Uh oh. But, okay. That's not good. I got. Uh oh. Okay. Oh, I have a flashlight. Good for me. Should I hide? Let's go see what that was. I'm sure it's fine. Okay. Don't like that. Should we? Should we go get a picture of him? <laughs> Do you think? For the newspaper? I'm gonna I'm go back to the car. Right mouse button to focus. D uh oh. Yep, just go ahead to the car. Yeah, run to the car. Good idea. I was thinking the same thing. I've got people bumps, and I don't want to be here anymore. Get in the van. You okay? Okay. Yeah, we're here. Start, 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 go. 
put her in drive. Oh no. Oh no. Territory of Graveswood Farm and a full story of an alien abduction. Add the game to your wish list so you don't miss a discounted release. Okay. Boy, howdy. That was terrifying. Good gracious. Okay. Well, uh, that was They Are Here. Thank you so much for watching. <laughs> um, uh, comment down below if you want to see more. Uh, of this game when it comes out i will play it here on the channel i drop new videos every week subscribe if you don't want to miss those and uh yeah thank you so much for watching and as always i'll catch y'all later i'm gonna exit to menu and try to just calm down for a minute <laughs>